Ever since the early days of spaceflight, rocket launches have been a fascinating spectacle. Up until recently, liftoff has usually been the most tense and exciting part of any launch. But ever since SpaceX came along and started to reuse their rockets, the landing of the Falcon 9 booster has become one of the most iconic shots in spaceflight. That is, when we get to see it. Sadly, when watching the SpaceX broadcast, the live video feed often cuts out just as the rocket is coming into view, leaving us in suspense. But why does this happen? In this video, we're going to look at how SpaceX broadcasts live video from their landing sites. We're also going to look at how the live feed is interrupted by the rocket and the possible solutions that could be put in place to get around this problem. When the Falcon 9 lands back on Earth, it will either land near the launch site or on a drone ship placed hundreds of miles out in the ocean. With the drone ship being in such a remote location, the live video feed has to be transmitted via satellite. A large antenna on the drone ship sends a directional signal towards the satellite, which will then transmit that footage back down to the broadcast team. The signal from the drone ship needs to be directional in order for it to be strong enough to reach the satellite. The problem occurs when the rocket gets close to the drone ship. As it comes in for a landing, the rocket is slowed down using either one or three of its Merlin engines, each firing over 100,000 pounds of thrust towards the surface of the drone ship. As the rocket gets closer to the drone ship, the thrust from the engines start to shake the drone ship with such a high frequency that the video feed antenna loses lock with the satellite, causing the video feed to cut out. Once the rocket has landed and the vibrations have dissipated, the video feed should reappear. During this period of time, the footage is recorded and will be sent back as soon as the drone ship regains connection with the satellite. Not only does this ensure that the engineers can analyze each landing, it also means that SpaceX can upload the footage after the broadcast for everyone else to watch. There have been many solutions put forward to fix this issue. One solution would be to have a similar ship placed a few hundred meters away from the drone ship with its own antenna to transmit the video feed. This antenna ship would be unaffected by the vibrations, but it would need to be connected to the drone ship using a very long video cable to receive the footage. A way around this is to transmit the video feed from the drone ship using a non-directional signal to the antenna ship, which would then transmit the video feed up to the satellite without being interrupted by the rocket's vibrations. Although this may seem like a problem that SpaceX could easily fix, Going through the effort of adding more vessels to the recovery fleet doesn't seem like it's worth the cost for just a few seconds of live video. Even if we don't get to see live footage of the landing, the footage is always recorded and uploaded a few days later for all of us to see, even when the landing goes wrong. So while it might be frustrating to lose the video feed right at the most exciting part of each mission, it does seem like SpaceX do everything they can to eventually bring us clear footage of each landing. If you have any more questions on how SpaceX broadcasts their launches, let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and would like to become one of the first contributors to Primal Space, please visit patreon.com slash primal space. And as always, Make sure you're subscribed so you can join the discussion as we continue to learn more about all things space. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Hey, John, this is perfect with the limb and the rover and you and...
and uh, Stone Mountain and the old flag. Come on out here and give me a salute. Big Navy salute. Off the ground, I'm <laughs> There we go. Yeah.